Tonight, law enforcement all around the Valley community came together to help better fight crime as part of National Night Out and on the front lines at Clark County School District's Police Department. The school really hasn't been in session for very long, but there has been more than a dozen incidents involving guns on campuses. And law enforcement knows that fighting crime starts at home. 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga joins us now with more on CCSD PD's involvement. Shakela? Well, Brian and Denise, school police say they want to create a stronger relationship with the people they serve. So this is one way they're doing just that. Don't let me hear that. Don't let me hear that. Don't Tonight, dozens of students, parents, and police officers marched for a safer community. What it does is bring us closer together, especially when we have tra uh, troubling situations and stuff. So it's good for us to be able to, to touch and talk and feel comfortable around each other. A simple step to show that they're in this together. We want to make sure that they feel comfortable if they see a tan uniform, a blue uniform, a green and brown uniform. Whatever the patch says is irrelevant. We're there to help them. It was an opportunity for parents to voice their concerns about a growing problem on campus, weapons on school property. For them to even host this and give back to the community, it's important for us to show the support and just showing up. Officer Robert Mayer says this is one piece to the puzzle, getting out of their patrol cars and talking to people. So we have to have that interaction where we use both the data that we uh, grab from our reports in the computer and then also from talking with the community. So that's why it's so important for us to be out on events like this. The hope is that together, they may just find the solution. Be aware of what your kids are going through, stay in touch with them, know who their friends are, so that when there is a situation that does arise that they can talk about it. Now, Officer Mayer added school police are working with local agencies to do more proactive enforcement as well. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now.